Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Wasteland. Today, we're going to be taking on some tier 3 jobs for Trader Gen once she opens. Uh, but I'm game stage 45 bajillion, which adjusted for inflation for those of us who aren't mentally ill is 72. So that's pretty high for day 5, so I'm very worried about what I'm going to find. But hey, I've got the AK, got the baseball bat, pistol, shotgun. I'm about as well prepared for it as I could be on day 5. So let's at least give it a shot. I'm not going to have any lockpicks for it though, but a small problem. Also, I put a point into Grease Monkey. Just grab that really quickly. Uh, we should start finding more of those books soon, which will be really nice. Same with lockpicking once I start putting points into that. Do you have any lockpicks, Jen? I don't think she does. How will I live? What jobs do you have? Oh, a tier 3 fetch? That sounds like a fantastic start. You know I love those. Let's select the right quest here. There we go. Let's head round there. I look weird without leg armor. So yeah, I'm putting all my points into intellect, grease monkey, and lock picking so that I can max out the speed I get better vehicles and workstations at. Because it's thinking about it, right? When quests give you all the guns you're really gonna get. Or how do I phrase that better? When quests are your best source of weapons regardless of how well your skill books are going, then why not just focus your skill books on things that quests aren't as good at, like getting you vehicles and workstations? Still, I assume the difficulty of the playthrough will still slow me down considerably, or I'll have everything by day 10 and this will be another one of those playthroughs. Here we are. Start that. Oh my god, the lag. I swear the fog in this biome does something to you. Let's one more. Right, it's technically below me now, which is concerning. Is there... Oh, I bet if I broke through this, I could get to it without having to step foot in the PY. Some people really hate it when I do this, but hey. You gave me tools to break blocks, and then you put blocks in the game. This just seems fair. Oh, I can't quite reach it from here. Hmm. Then we have to make a very risky decision. Let's see, can we place a block? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Wait, I think I'm okay. There's there's zombies coming, but I can just... Okay. Right, um, how am I climbing out of here? Can I destroy the satchel? <laughs> or better yet, I think a ladder would go quite effectively in this. It's the light in my way, let's break that. And we're out, just like that. Let's head back to Jen. Jen, I'm back already. Give me a pump shotgun. Don't spend it all in one place. Oh. But if... I will take an iron fire axe, though, I think. Um, let's take the fetch and clear that's also really close. If I'm going to die horribly doing a tier 3 clear job, I would like it to be close at least. Here we are. Oh, is this the one with the tourist in like the first room? This is gonna suck. Let's try and be stealthy a little bit. Hmm, some iron armor. Oh, I think it woke everybody up. Oh no, just this guy. Okay. Great start, I guess. There's the tourist. Anyone else visible in this room? No, they're all kind of in their own little areas. Follow me outside. It's gonna take so many hits to kill him. Oh, and I woke them up anyway. Well, shit. Thanks, game. I'm surprised I hit that. That's a feral. Run away! Expect a lot of that in this biome, especially at tier 3. That's annoying. Please don't be a feral. He wasn't. Hey, Down we go. See anybody behind me? No, what about in there? Oh, hello, someone to my right. Oh, she's feral. Oh, she survived. Another skill point, more grease monkey. Can I hit anybody? Oh, don't be what I think I just saw. I think I just saw some drywall, I'm good. That is just the worst. I 
Feral, run away. Get up the stairs. I don't know if the other one's Feral, that's the problem. Oh, is he gonna get stuck there? Well, that does work in my favor. Do you dare break that? There we go. We'll get the satchel on the way out. Let's see what loot we got. Some ammo and an arrow rest mod. Some fucking cloth. I don't have any lock picks or a really good pickaxe though, so I don't know how I'm gonna open this. Big hitters, couple of good books there. And some food and water. Okay. I can't really do anything about the end loot though. Until I get some lock picks, but I can't craft any lock picks until I get to a certain level. Yeah, there's one, let's try that. I believe. Fuck off, game. What about over here? Has this got a lockpick in it? No, damn it. I'm cooking weekly. And some more food. Ooh, some level 4 leather legs. I'll wear them, sure. Grab the satchel and let's leave. I'm sure the loot wouldn't have been that good anyway. Not as good as getting the quest reward a lot sooner. Well, look what the oh. cat dragged. Yeah, that was definitely worth it. Thank you, Jen. Steel club, let's go. Well, this playthrough just got a lot easier. <laughs> let's take that clear of zombies as well. Still wouldn't really like to club any ferals, but clubbing everything else just got a lot easier. If we can get at least three done today, that's pretty good. Might be able to fit in a couple of tier twos to reduce the count I need to do tomorrow. That would be nice. Ah, big hairs. Yeah, that book has immediately been made obsolete. There is one level higher than this club that you can craft. And by the time I'm able to craft it, it really won't matter. Oh, I'm thirsty. Is there a water source nearby? We could go over there. I've got my helmet purifier. Let's go grab that. Hmm, yes. Completely still water in an irradiated wasteland. All fixed for me by a weird blue straw I put on my helmet. Oh, are you going to make me fight you? Yeah, he is. Let's fight him. That's actually hilariously easy. Before that bird notices. Ooh. Hey, I think we can start the quest now. Oh, it's gonna be filled with cops. This is going to be an unpleasant POI. Okay, started it and nothing happened so far. Oh, a feral, hello. Oh, good, another feral, hello. Dog. Oh, it's actually in the POI, that's fair. But there's just another one behind me. Part of mining. More fettles, okay. Another skill point because I'm killing so many high level zombies. Uh, you know what, let's put that in intellect and I'll be able to get another rank of Grease Monkey, which will help quite a bit. Ugh. Please be a normal cop at least. It is. Oh, lucky head pop, nice. Lol. Ah, vending machines here. Guessing you're a feral then. I forgot this one spawns them behind you as well. Tell for the oldest trick in the book. A delayed spawn behind. Come on, hit the door at least once. Ow. Yeah, hallways and cops, not fun. Let me heal before I attract a vulture. Well, that's just rude. Medical journal. Weighted head mod schematic, nice. Pretty useful for this uh, build. Some ammo. Can I piss them off? Because I really don't want to go in the way they want me to. A <laughs> level 6 pipe rifle. Thanks, game. Yep. That's what I need. Ah, hello. Thought you could hide from me, hmm?
Ugh, frame rate, hello. Vehicle adventures, nice. Ten of those. Uh, this doesn't seem like a good idea. Another vehicle adventures in a tools digest. Oh, ladder onto the roof, hello. Right, what's over here? Another ladder onto the roof. Message received. The illusion of choice. Alright, this room's gonna be a fucking shit show, just so we're all aware. My plan is to simply run away. Oh yeah, it spawns these shitheads up here. God, the game has been really shitty about that recently, huh? Hi. Surprised he's not gonna pop from that. Oh, there he is. Yeah, damage the other ones. I actually broke their way out, perfect. That's a feral. Not just any feral, that's a feral white. You'd think I was shooting him with a goddamn BB gun. There we go. We're clear though. Weapons bag. Upgraded double barrel shotgun. A another baseball bat. More ammo. Books. Shotgun Messiah. Again, probably not gonna be able to keep up with my loot and trader rewards. Vehicle adventures, a couple of other useful things. Cool. Let's press this, see what happens. Oh, hello. Shotgun shells. Right, well, I guess I'll pillar out of here since they broke the ceiling. Let's head back to Jen and get my reward. Come on. Be nice game. Give me the pump action shotgun. It'd be really, really funny. Steel knuckles. Nice, but I'll take the ammo, I think. You got any tier twos that are relatively close by? Uh, only infested clears. I mean, we're already fighting ferals in like every room. I might as well get paid a lot of ammo for doing the quest. I am horrified that I am probably gonna get a radiated zombie soon, though. Mind if I don't go in the ceiling, to be honest? I guess we just break down the front fucking door and see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? No, I'm not building a hatch because I'm scared of unimaginable horrors coming from inside there. I just like putting my own spin on places. This is gonna suck. Hello? You're feral, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> See why we're building hatches? Even that little shit's feral. Oh, I just saw a fucking green arm. I was kidding, game. This isn't funny, game. Okay, it's kind of funny. Day fucking five. In a tier two. The hell is still smashing through shit. Those are still people alive in here. There's like two rooms. Killed like seven people. Oh. Oh, good, you're not feral. Or radiated. That would also suck. Shotguns. Nobody's in there. Anyone here? Oh, this doesn't look fucking very good. Take care of some shotguns. Oh, is this the one with the landmines? Well, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Radiated zombies just coming. Ah, they're coming behind me as well. I just see a fucking biker. Don't you dare be. Oh. On day five. Are you on meth? Run away! If he hits me, I'm going to die. <laughs> There's a vulture, seriously. Oh man, fuck this place. Woo! No, 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 no. I can get them off my bike for a second here. Woo. I believe in me. The vulture being dead does help a lot, actually. If we can kill the radiated and the biker, then we can take down the rest very easily. But holy shit, I am not touching an infested quest in this biome for a while. 
He's dead. That was surprisingly easy for a feral biker. Ah, swing the fucking club, dipshit. Well, let's get the loot at least. That fucking sucked. I am not doing an infestation again until I'm very well equipped, or the game stage just doesn't even matter anymore. If we're getting, you know, radiateds and stuff in every POI anyway, then I'll consider it, but... <laughs> that was so much ammo wasted, I doubt it's going to pay for itself at all. Got a bandage back. Another level 4 baseball bat is just throwing them at me. And a triple armor pocket mod, which is nice. Bunch of ammo. And I think it maybe did pay for itself, just barely then. Still, I would rather not risk feral bikers. It's a good thing he only hit me when I was on the bike and it took most of the hit for me, despite that making no sense. You know how it is. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's go back to Jen, get a reward, and then cower in my base for the night. This absolutely horrifying biome. So that's the equivalent of doing three tier threes plus a tier two, because that's literally what I did. That's not what the word equivalent means, you dipshit. Um, but what that means is if I do a tier one and then three tier threes, I will have tier three complete. Which means I could get that done tomorrow if it has three good tier threes or two good tier threes and a few tier twos to do. Very fast progress, which I apparently fucking need because it's physically possible for me to get radiated on day five. Hey. If you could buy, hmm. I've got the best selection of medicine I'll take the choke mod. Do you have another tier 2 I could do? No, it would be an infested. I'll take a tier 1 fetch though, and I'll do that in the morning before she opens. So I can use my time more efficiently. Let's put the choke on this. I'm gonna go hide in my base for the night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, it's the morning. I survived again. I just hide. That's all I do. Hide and I don't touch anything. Let's head over, oh it's only 50 meters away, nice. Just a tier 1, so not expecting too much crazy, but it is the wasteland. Hi there. Oh, feral, seriously? I forgot I am not very well stamina -ed. Grab that. Run away. Because I don't want to fight any more fettles if they are. I did get another skill point there and I've got two spares. So let's put one into Grease Monkey and then put another one into Lock Picking. That'll give me boosted chances to get the Workstations books. But it does it without boosting all the other things that Advanced Engineering boosts. So for example, Advanced Engineering will boost Workstations, Traps and Electrician. Lock Picking will just boost uh, Workstations because Lock Picks are part of that. So you can get around how annoying that can be doing that. Now that took 40 in-game minutes. I'm quite fast at that. So I guess I'll just wait for Trader Gen to open. Got nothing else to do. I'll take some ammo. Alright, what do you have? Three fetch clears. And one clear zombie's very close. I think maybe clear, fetch, fetch, clear would be good. Unless there's a bunch of really easy tier 2. Oh, there's no tier 2. So, okay, let's do these then. Uh, you know what? I'll start with the close Here, one. The Western Way Station. Time. This is a big tier 3. Ow. Stood on a goddamn mine. That's so much of my health bar. Let's eat chili dog and bandage for all the people saying i was so nonchalant about mines by the way that's why like it just doesn't even kill you anymore <laughs> like, yeah it sucks to lose that much health but you're not gonna suddenly be dead usually well different mines have different damages but most of them doesn't seem to kill you wow three hits and he's ready to pop well rip the police car and some friendly fire right there. Anyone home? Working vending machine at least. So much money now I can afford to just buy these things. Oh, hello. Anyone a feral? He is. He's also going to get himself heavily damaged by those spikes.
Why does he just not even hear that? That's weird. Alright, well, I'm anticipating just the worst pile of shit around this corner. I know something explodes for a start. That's about all I can remember about this POI. Sounds like a wandering horde is trying to get in, because that's a lot of hits I'm hearing. Oh, a cement mixer over there. Good to know. Right, well, if we could just skip to the part where you all run at me, that would be really nice. That's fucking dangerous. There we go. Get up here. They even spawned zombies in the rooms I'd already been in. Rude. Oh, bloody hell, there's a radiated cop. Uh, not radiated cop. I think I saw radiated glow and I saw cop and I said feral biker was what I was trying to say. <laughs> Why is that cop dead? I didn't even hit him. Fuck. That's fucked up. Oh good, it summoned a screamer because this game is like that. Let's see if we can get her. Come on. Look at me. You know what? Let's get on the fence. I don't think she got the screamer off. There's another one up there, isn't there? This POI sucks. This better be like it for the POI, because that is too many if not. There we go. Let's clean out the stragglers. That one guy still doesn't hear us, he's just deaf. Oh, and of course walking towards him is what triggers him. Okay, that's an annoying hitbox. Apparently we can't shoot through that. Well, that wasted a lot more ammo than I would have liked. What the fuck? There are always one of these under here. Never noticed that before. Give me a forge head. Thank you. Also give me a forge head. What about you? Oh, no luck on that one. Vehicle adventures. Another forge ahead. Soon I'll be able to actually make my own lockpicks and I'll stop leaving all this shit behind. Cool. Let's go talk to Jen. To the Duke now. I'm not going to be able to use a steel axe, but I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, let's take the fetch and clear. Do hurry. Now that Another skill good. point. Trust me. More lock picking. Nice thing about having all this ammo is I just bought a shitload of shotgun shells. Normally I wouldn't really have to buy that many, but the game is making me use those damn shells for once, so, so much. I'll use my money for once. Right, let's head over to this clear and retrieve supplies. If we can get this done and then one more done, we have tier 3 done by day 6, which is great. Am I going to be able to take on tier 4s? Probably not. Not unless I get like a pump shotgun and some good armor in the next few quests. That sucks. Have I got any repair kits on me? No. Okay. Be careful with the bicycle. But what I can do is still work towards tier 4 complete using tier 3s. It only takes 9 to do it compared to 7 tier 4s, so it might even be wise to do that anyway. Because uh, 3 to 4 is a pretty significant difficulty spike. Uh, hello, bear. Not familiar with this POI, so when in doubt, shotgun. Anyone of Errol? Bunk. Triple head pop. Doesn't mean anything, it's just cool. When did they only give you one health? I could have sworn it was at least five. Well, that's a bear. Hi, please. The bear doesn't seem to be bothering me, so I'm not going to bother the bear. Give me the satchel. Locked, so I don't have to worry about that. 
Oh, the bears decided to care about my existence. I hate that. Thanks, game. Very cool. Fine, I just need to lose its egg rope. Probably by jumping over here or something. I wonder. How suicidal is this idea? Oh, they locked the balcony door, huh? Oh, there's the loot. Okay. Can I, like, piss them off? This might actually be my fastest way into this, by the way. I didn't bring a pickaxe. Weapons bag. Nothing too helpful there. Now we can just walk in. Someone hiding back here? It definitely will be when I go through the right door. We know how this game works. Vehicle adventures. There's a forge ahead. I'll be able to make my own lockpicks now. That'll be nice. Although I'll need a... What's it called? A workbench. But they're not hard to make. Let's try this. But two lockpicks and two ranks of lockpicking. I mean, I feel lucky. Oh, you shitting fuck. This video game is the worst one. That is the end of the rant. <laughs> like and subscribe. Alright, so that doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Is the bear gone? No, the bear's still there. Wait, where am I actually supposed to go then? Oh, I see. This is gonna suck. Very clever, fun pimps. Oh, that'll fuck you, game. Let me eat a bandage. Oh, hi, Arlene. Got guns. Ah, oh, pressing this button is going to open the fucking shit behind me, isn't it? Yep, it did. Whoa. Ah, I had my escape route ready. You fools. I'm entire galaxies ahead of you. To be fair, being entire galaxies ahead of corpses... Not all that impressive. Okay. We at least completed this shithole of a POI. With a bear trying to stop me the whole time. Go. Cool. I mean, the bear was the only real problem. I was just concerned they was going to break in the back and kill me. Well, we're here at the bookstore. Let's take a quick stop. Tools and vehicles. Barbed wire. Hammers. No. Who am I hearing? Someone's walking towards me. is annoying me. Clubs. They're just gonna pollute the loot table until I finally finish that bloody tree. Board ahead. Oh, hi. Hi. Is there not a book crate in here? No, it's on the roof. Hello, free book crate. <laughs> Nothing all that helpful, to be honest. Alright, let's go back to Jen. Hey, Jen. Hmm. As much as 10% more damage is tempting, I will take the steel pick. And then let's take... Let's see, do we want Ranger Station Golf? Or do we want Jack's Lumber Mill? I will take Lumberjacks or Soldiers. Or I could do a bunch of Tier 1s. You know what? I feel like I want to do a bunch of Tier 1s instead. Another skill point. I don't even know if I can put that into anything. Um, Something that won't, like, I don't know, get me... Worse off, maybe start working on strength again, put more points in boomstick and stuff. That would probably make sense. Right, let's go do a bunch of tier ones to save me having to go a kilometer and fight a bunch of especially difficult zombies. If we do three in the next seven hours, we can get tier three complete. Although we lose out on the nice tier three quest rewards, but meh is my answer to that. Meh, I tell you. Start this. Can I just fucking see this from outside? Almost, hang on. Have I got a shovel? Have I got a pick, will that work? I think I need to go one lower. You really in the way? Piece of shit. <laughs> there we go. I didn't have to enter the POI. I love fetch jobs. Hunters and farming. Cool. Hell, good job. I knew you could do I will it. take the ammo. Take another fetch. I think oh, I would Motel 8. I'm gonna just use Mega Crush because my bicycle is so damaged and I don't have a repair kit right now, so I'm just gonna run. Here we are. Start that. Well, that was very easy. <laughs> I didn't even have to break a block. Well, that didn't take long. Take those pipe bombs. And finally, I'll take the close by oh, clear. Give up another Mega Crush. In we go. Hi. Bye. 
Hello. Goodbye. Oh, there's a cop. Just chilling in the corner. Stamina, 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 stamina. That was very easy. What window am I stuck on here? Oh, the window of my own subconscious. It's not very good loot. Knife guy. Let's head back to Jen for my... That should be tier 3 complete. Which is nice to have before day 7. Uh, but it all really depends on what reward she actually gives me. But I mean, pump action shotgun maybe, Jen? That would be nice of you. Suppose I would accept other alternatives like a tactical assault rifle or a motorcycle. That's more stuff, a motorcycle. Or even a chemistry station to be honest because they're pain in the fucking ass to make even if you do have everything to make them. So expensive. Hey Jen. You had it in you. Uh, I'll take the wood for the first thing. Motorcycle parts bundle. Mm, out of these, yeah. But I'm not going to get a full motorcycle from it, am I? Yeah, I got the handlebars and three of these. And I got the other parts I would need to make it, at least. But the chassis is the more expensive one, but it's fine, I have a wrench. I just need to get the uh, the books I need now, which will require... How many more books do I need? Another 27. It's not too bad. I mean, it took me six days to get this far. At least by like day 15 I would have one, I'd guess. Let me buy a repair kit for the bike. I just knew something. Right, so tier fours are now going to be available to me. I'm not even going to try them. <laughs> They're just going to be so fucking suicidal right now to try a tier four. Uh, I'll keep trying to grind some good tier three loot. Uh, namely, the actual loot containers would be nice. Now that I can craft my own lockpick. So I will make some lockpicks during the night. I'll have to make a uh, workbench first. That's fine though. Maybe I should make a forge. Probably, right? <laughs> uh, let's, let's do a forge. Let's see, Ugh, none of my shit's sorted, but I'm sure I can do it. I had nine repair kits in there anyway, one of eight. I got no cobblestone. I've got clay, that'll do. 50 cobblestone, and a log. Right, well, that does that. I also need a workbench. 20 mechanical parts. In this economy, I actually short on mechanical parts. It's mildly annoying. I'm gonna need more to actually make the lock picks anyway. I need a craft the forge. I'd also need a hundred nails for this. The forge was necessary basically. There we go, my forge is done. Uh, let me just temporarily put it there because I don't have much room. Smell all the iron and clay I have, give it like 15 minutes of fuel. And I just need eight mechanical parts but then I'm not gonna be able to make any lockpicks with it anyway. But I'll see if I can do it just before the night falls. I mean if I could get an engine and scrap it that would be a really good source of it because it gives you 30. So I would get enough from my workbench and a bunch of lockpicks. Need one more. Poster, do you give mechanical parts? No. Coffee maker? Nope. Microwave? Well, I wouldn't feel very confident in the oven if all that shit didn't work, but I might as well try it. What I'll do is, before Trader Jen opens tomorrow, I will scrap some cars. And that'll get me a few extra lockpicks worth of mechanical parts. Oh, I didn't mean to use my lockpick on this. Let's see if it works, though. I hate life. Right, let me go find, like, one car really quickly, because I need one mechanical part. It is not being nice to me. There we go. Can we get 100 nails yet? Cool. So I'll craft the workbench during the night. Remember, if you want to get 7 days to die server, you can use the link in the description to get 10% off with level up hosting. I will get a commission if you do that. My members and patrons get early access, so check those links in the description too if that interests you. Let me know if you're still enjoying the series, and in the meantime, special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one? I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.